What's up, golf noobs? Welcome back to the channel. Guys, like, subscribe, comment, stick around, turn on those notifications. I don't want you to miss a giveaway and I don't want you to miss any of this awesome content. All right, coming right at you. And be sure to stay tuned, stick around to the end of the videos. A lot of you guys are tuning out in the first 60 seconds and you're missing some glorious content, some of the best stuff this channel has to offer. So guys, bear with us, like the videos, comment, make sure you turn those notifications on so that you don't miss out, all right? Anyway, in today's video, two-thirds of the country is baking under some of the worst heat we've seen in the last, oh, probably 30 years, all right? As you can tell by the hat, Golf Noob is a Florida-based golfer, okay? Today, unfortunately, due to the circumstances beyond my control, I have a 12.04 p.m. tee time. Did you hear that, guys? 12.04 tee time. If you're in the Tampa Bay area, okay, noon, look for Golf Noob on the golf course. If you see me, give me a shout-out. It'll win a prize, and it'll be an awesome one, all right? Uh, anyway, that's today <coughs> uh, at noon. I'm not telling you which golf course that would be cheating. <laughs> All right. So anyway, but we are currently under a heat advisory. Today's high here in the Tampa area is supposed to be right around 95 degrees. Uh, the heat index is going to approach 110 degrees this afternoon. So it's going to be warm. It's going to be humid. It's going to be sticky. And I'm not going to lie, guys, being out there for four, four and a half hours in that kind of heat is going to be a little on the dangerous side. So in today's video, I'm going to show you golfers all over the country how to stay cool and how to save money doing so. All right. So let's dive right in. All righty, golf news. So like I said, diving right in, I'm going to show you ways to stay cool, beat the heat, play golf and save money. All right. So guys, let's start with the basics. Yeah, that's right. Socks and underwear essentials, right? So these are Puma socks. These aren't specifically designed for golf, but you can find these in most uh, athletic shoe retailers. Uh, also at Costco, get a pretty good deal on them. They look like they're cotton, but they're a cotton poly blend. So they get the breathability of cotton, but they don't get all soaking, sopping wet. Uh, they uh, wick moisture away from the skin, which will help you keep your feet um, nice and cool on the golf course. All right. Same goes for underwear guys, especially for some of my older viewers. A lot of you guys are still playing golf in your old tidy whiteies guys. Oh, that's miserable. If you don't want swamp ass, you need to invest in some awesome performance golf underwear or just from performance underwear. Okay. This is the new balance brand. You can get these on Amazon. I think a four packs like $30 or something like that. Um, any brand is fine. Just again, make sure the fabric is lightweight, make sure it's flexible and Make sure it passes the see-through test, okay? If you can see through it, you're gonna be nice and comfortable, all right? So check that out. That'll help keep you nice and comfortable. Avoid the swamp ass on the golf course. Nobody likes that. Same thing with the undershirt, okay? You don't want cotton. If, for my undershirt crowd, if you're looking at an undershirt uh, and you wanna stay cool on the golf course, again, lightweight, flexible fabric that you can see through. That's what we're going for. Um, back in the 80s, most golf shirts were heavy-duty almost like a canvas, okay? They were heavy duty cotton, they did not breathe well, they were very heavy, uh, and they weren't very flexible. Most golf shirt, modern golf shirts today are the opposite of that. They're a uh, poly cotton blend or 100% polyester, lightweight, flexible fabric. And again, we're looking for something that passes the see-through test, okay? Guys, you don't have to spend a fortune. These shirts can be very expensive, uh, 70 to $100 a piece at many golf retailers. Uh, this is a very high quality golf shirt that uh, Golf Noob has in his collection uh, from Ben Hogan. You can get these at Walmart. I got this one brand new on clearance for $11 and it performs just as well as my more expensive golf shirts. Uh, if you can't find an inexpensive brand at your local Walmart or something like that that's high quality and you have to go with one of the bigger brands, and another easy way to save money is to buy Under Armour. Under Armour golf apparel is typically just a little bit less expensive than say your Nike uh your foot joy and your other brands of that nature so there's a way to stay cool save money on the golf course ben hogan unfortunately the company's gone out of business but last time i checked my walmart still had a pretty good selection of the ben hogan golf shirts so make sure you guys get out take advantage of that i uh, can't beat the quality and it's the best bang for your buck in performance golf shirts on the planet all right Moving on, same thing with the golf shorts. These are Under Armour's polyester golf shorts. I had these featured on a short or a video a while back, how you can save some money. These were on sale at Amazon. They're normally like $75. They were on sale for, I think, $29.99. They might still be, so go check Amazon. Uh, just type in the search Under Armour golf shorts. You might find them. Hopefully, they're still there. Hopefully, they're still on sale. 
Guys, again, here at Golf Noob, we have no sponsorships. This Titleist hat was very expensive, but it performs fairly well in a light rain, and it's very breathable and really keeps the sun off my back and my neck, okay? So this was a worthwhile purchase for me. Uh, you can get these at any of your big golf retailers. But a big dumb hat will take five strokes off your game and help you uh, keep the sun at bay. I apologize for the wrinkles on the bed sheet. What is going on with this? Okay, newest addition of the family is this mobile fan, which we will be checking out today. Haven't taken this to the golf course yet, but some guys I know swear by it. So for $30 on Amazon, I thought I'd check it out. Has a little hook so you can hang it from your golf cart. Whether it's strong enough to perform in extreme heat outdoors on a golf cart, remains to be determined, all right? But we're gonna check that out later today. And if it's worth anything, I'll leave a description in the link. Uh, so you guys can go check that out on Amazon. Bought that for $30. Biggie here, guys. Most, most golf courses ban personal coolers, okay? The reason they ban personal coolers at most golf courses is for alcohol. If you just fill it with ice and water and Gatorade, you should be just fine, okay? You got to stay hydrated out there. Heat stroke is an emergency, and it can kill you. So if you're going to spend four, four and a half hours out playing golf, take a cooler, fill it with ice, water, uh, Gatorade guys when it gets this hot outside it's best to avoid alcohol um, if you want to take a beer or two you know that's totally up to you but make sure you drink plenty of water and Gatorade you need to rehydrate and replenish those electrolytes uh, keep your core temperature cool stay hydrated so that you don't get heat exhaustion or even worse heat stroke all right you can also take the ice out as it melts kind of rub it on your head neck shoulders arms uh, that'll help you a lot, keep you cool. You guys have also seen my Ignite Tex uh, arm sleeves, uh, solar sleeves, keep the sun off your arms. Uh, you can get those on Amazon. They're high quality, non-slip, and very good, all right? All right, guys, well, that's just a quick video to uh, kind of show you around my, my golf collection and how I beat the heat. Again, we're in Tampa, Florida, noon tea time, uh, heat index approaching 110 this afternoon, so... Now you guys have seen it, and uh, hopefully, guys, you guys can go out and stay cool, all right? Remember, guys, like, subscribe, comment, stick around. Come become a part of this growing community here at Golf Noob. Till next time, Golf Noobs. Later.